Jamie was the eldest son of Joanna Lannister and Lord Tywin Lannister. Jamie had great difficulty learning to read as a child because he transposed letters in his mind. Tywin sat with him through four hours a day practicing until he learned. Jamie resented being forced to spend so much time on reading. Jamie was the older brother of Tyrion and the twin brother of Cersei. Their mother died giving birth to Tyrion. Due to his place in the Kingsguard, Jamie could not inherit his father's lands or titles, making Tyrion his father's heir, a fact which vexes Tywin. Unlike Cersei and Tywin, Jamie always treated Tyrion with a degree of love, kindness and respect. Jamie began an incestuous relationship with his twin Cersei in his youth. At the age of 16, Jamie rose to the rank of knighthood. At the behest of Cersei, he consented to join the Kingsguard, which would prevent his father's plans for him to marry Lysa Tully from coming into effect. Although initially hesitant, due the fact that Tywin was unable to accept Tyrion as his heir should Jamie be inducted, Jamie agreed, as Cersei's betrothal to Prince Rhaegar would allow the two of them to be in King's Landing together. However, Tywin erupted in fury and resigned his position as Hand of the King, taking Cersei back to Casterly Rock with him. Jaime was sworn into the Kingsguard by the Mad King, Ares II Targaryen during the Great Tourney at Harrenhal. He was then the youngest man ever appointed to its membership. At the conclusion of Robert's rebellion, Jaime's father Tywin arrived at the gates of King's Landing with the main Lannister army, pledging his allegiance. Most of the small council urged Ares not to trust Tywin, especially Jaime, knowing his father would never support the losing side of a war. Instead, Grand Maester Pycell gave the opposite counsel, and once the Lannister army was allowed inside, Tywin ordered his men to attack the city. As Lannister soldiers raped and pillaged throughout the city during the sack of King's Landing, King Ares remained holed up inside the Red Keep, for hours maniacally repeating the order to burn them all. Despite being sworn by the holiest oaths to protect the king as a member of the Kingsguard, Jaime ultimately turned his own sword on Ares, slaying him at the foot of the Iron Throne itself. For this infamous act, he is known throughout the Seven Kingdoms as the Kingslayer, to his irritation. Jaime always refused to discuss precisely what happened the day he slew the Mad King, and thus his true motivations, and what plans Ares had for King's Landing, were never revealed. On one occasion he confides the truth to Brienne of Tarth. Ares's final orders were for Jaime to kill his father, and to burn the entire city and its inhabitants with wildfire. Unwilling to let that happen, Jaime killed him, and in doing so actually saved thousands of innocent lives. He adds that the Honorable Ned Stark judged him guilty on the spot, without giving Jaime a chance to explain. He was forgiven for breaking his vows by King Robert Baratheon and permitted to remain in the Kingsguard as part of Robert's alliance with House Lannister, along with the marriage of Jaime's twin sister Cersei to Robert. In addition to the slaying of the Mad King, Jaime was known for his handsome looks, arrogant demeanor, and his superior and incredible fighting skills, and for his superb martial skills. He was so skilled and great with a sword, that he bragged there were only three men in the Seven Kingdoms who might have had a chance against him.